Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm demoing and reviewing several products for you. I have the Zoe Essential High Coverage Foundation. I've got the Tarte Blush Bazaar for Holiday 2017. And also I've got two of the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes. So if you would like to see how these products perform on my skin and review, keep on watching. Okay, let's start. Um, firstly, I'm gonna prime my face using the First Aid Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. Let's start with the Zoe Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation. It looks like that. The box looks like that. It's extremely big comparing to the foundation. It says supreme coverage, lightweight and long wearing essential high coverage cream foundation creates an impeccable airbrushed matte finish instantly. I'm going to use it with a beauty blender today. It has chamomile extract, cucumber extract, hyaluronic acid, tripeptide complex, paraben free, matte, oil free and it's dermatologist tested. It's not tested in animals, it's made in USA and it retails for 38 US dollars. It comes in 17 shades and you get 20 ml, 0.68 fluid ounces. I have the shade Sand. It's a glass bottle, it comes with a pump. It says shake well, so I'm gonna shake well. And I'm gonna use only one pump. Looks like that, it's quite runny. And this is the look with just the foundation on. I've tried this foundation and um, I've tried it uh, without the primer and I've tried it with powder on top and I've tried it without powder. They say that I've got this scent which described as a light skin with warm peachy undertones. Firstly, I have to say on that um, for me, this is this is not warm peachy undertones. Um, I can't see the peachiness of it. The shade is a little bit off. I would say it's more like yellow undertones, not like warm peachy undertones. It's like really way peachy undertones. I look more like Tweety. The packaging is alright. I mean, it is in a glass bottle, so it's not really travel friendly. It's 2017. I'm expecting a pump, absolutely. Now. I don't like this foundation, no. I don't like the fact that it's 20 ml, 0.68 fluid ounces. I mean, seriously, 20 ml? All the rest of foundations, they're 30 ml, and some of them, they're 40. 20 ml? Why? I mean, why? This foundation oxidizes, and oxidizes on me really badly. I can understand it's like um, a matte foundation, if you have oily skin, you might like it. Uh, if you have dry skin, probably stay away from this. Then it accentuates so much the uh, laugh lines that to the point it makes them look way worse than they already are. I mean, I know my laugh lines. They're not that bad. Besides that accentuate the fine lines everywhere. Even like in my, in my forehead. In my forehead normally I don't have lines like that. And when I put this foundation it's like... Uh, it doesn't stay a long time. I mean I've tried it with powder and without the powder. And it performed I think worse with powder. After 4-5 four, four, hours um, it was separating on my chin. And my chin was a mess. Like I don't, <laughs> it, it wasn't looking good. Patchy and like... It, half gone and you know what you don't want i don't like the price i don't like that it's 20 ml um i don't like how it performs um yeah it looks matte it feels light but it doesn't stay a long time uh, it clinked on dry patches and of course a matte foundation i know but the Estee Lauder double wear it's matte too but doesn't cling on the dry patches accentuate the fine lines it made me look worse <laughs> than I am and it disappeared from my chin so would I recommend this foundation? definitely not Joy, no go 
Now let's go to the Tarte Limited Edition Amazonian Clay Blush Bazaar Palette that looks like that. The box looks like that, so it's similar design. I have to say that I like I like the design. That retails for 44 US dollars and it's limited edition and it's a value of 150. The packaging looks like that. It's quite nice actually. When you open it, you get all these shades. You have like a sleeve here. It has eight blushes, more kindly like four here, warm tone and a highlighter and four here, cool tone and a highlighter. Net uh, weight 2.4 grams, 0.084 ounces by 10. And it's made in China. One thing I like is that the names of the shades there on the palette, which is really good. And the packaging is quite good. It has a safe closure. It looks beautiful. I like that it's round. It doesn't have any space waste on the packet. Today, I'm gonna go with Endless here. And for my highlight, I'm going with the Worthy. I'm gonna start with the swatches and I'm gonna start on the warm side over here. Angelic and it's described as a peachy pink. Now we have Fortunate, a pink melon. We have Skillful, a pink berry. Exhilarating, it's a fuchsia. And this highlighter is a whimsical in a shimmery gold. Are these. The only thing I find that these two shades here Although they don't look the same, they kind of like swatch the same, if you know what I mean. Like these two. They don't look the same on the pan, but they do swatch the same. Now let's go to that side over here, the more cooler side, if you will. Now we have Authentic, which is a plummy rose. We have Endless, which is a pink raspberry, and I'm wearing it today. Dainty, which is a melon, and Extraordinary, which is a simmering coral, the, like a little bit so you can see it because the swatches are a little bit off and here we have the highlighter which I'm wearing today which is in Worthy it's a soft pink but it doesn't show of these two highlighters I definitely prefer the whimsical even from this these two shades they do look similar although they don't look as similar in the pan like you know these two the packaging is beautiful on, on, on this product. Um, I like that you don't waste much, much space. You get eight blushes and two highlighters. Some of the colors, they look similar, so I don't like, you know, really like that. But the most of the colors, um, they are beautiful. Uh, they perform really well. They do last a long time. Um, I didn't compare it with a normal Amazonian clay formula, so I don't know. You can build them up. They're pigmented enough. And I like the packaging that you know, it goes all the way. Now this one I don't mind at all, but you can remove it if it, that bothers you. The highlighters, as I said, the pink one that I wear, it's more subtle. The whimsical, this kick a pant, so I really like that. Um, the only thing I didn't like with this, like when I saw it on the picture, I found the picture a little bit more misleading because in the picture, I don't know if you see, you see it and you think, oh my God, um, I'm getting like, these beautiful, darker, you know, vibrant colors. And you really not. So the picture was a little bit misleading tart there. Besides that, I like the packaging. The blushes perform well. You get your warm tones, you get your cool tones, you get two highlighters. They're not the best highlighters in the world, but this whimsical is good. And um, um, I do like it. I will definitely recommend you to try it. And if you like these colors, but bear in mind, some colors, they do look similar, but they perform really well. All in all, I do like this product and I do recommend it. Now let's go to the Huda Beauty Obsessions palette. So Huda released four mini palettes and she called it the Obsessions palette. A mauve obsession, a warm browns obsession, a smoky obsession, which I have in my hands, and the electric obsessions. And as you see, they're mini, of course. Um, they come with a sleeve like that. This is the packet that you remove it. And they look like that, the smoky, the matte cardboard um, box. 
and you get the big mirror here which is good this is with a smoky now i'm gonna show you with the electric again you have that sleeve more the colors that you get big mirror nine colors that they look like that so we have smoky and electric they are magnetic these palettes are made in china and um, the first ingredient uh, that it says in both of them it's talc so the second is mica bear that in mind and you get net um, 10 grams 0 0.35 ounces the color selection it's really really good and it's the first time or one of the rare times that i see smoky palette not to look like 50 shades of gray if you know what i mean at least you know she included one transition color and one like pinkies kind of like shimmery and the gold electric palette that looks like that you get you get no transition colors in that you get all pop of colors obviously that's why they call it electric I'm gonna prime my eyes using the primary portion in Eden by Urban Decay The shades they don't have names um, and unless they do and I don't see them but so I'm gonna get that shade over here from the Smoky Obsessions and I'm gonna use it as my transition color this is very very pigmented now I'm gonna go with the electric obsession and I'm gonna get this beautiful like nectarine where did I find that anyway that beautiful color then i'm going to that purple here because i'm feeling the purple today and i'm just putting it all over the lid for the lower lash i'm getting that beautiful color again And this is the final look. Now let's start with the swatches. Now I'm gonna start with these three here. Now these three, it's the first row. There are two mattes, a darker and a lighter brown and a metallic pinkish nude. Now we have this row that you get all shimmers and you get a shimmery gold and shimmery brown and a shimmery silver. And then you get the last row that you get two mattes and a shimmery one. You get a shimmery kind of like mauve pink, um, a matte nude and a matte black. And this is the electric obsessions and I'm gonna start, I'm starting with this row which is these three here. You get two mattes and a shimmer color and then you get this row over here that you get two mattes a fuchsia a yellow and a shimmery cobalt blue and the last row that you get two mattes like a dark burgundy a burgundy and aqua shimmer and a like dark teal matte in this palette you get four matte, matte shades and the rest they are shimmer the mattes they perform well they're very buttery and they do kick powder the shimmers they're very kind of like crumbly I, I i don't know if you see here i put my finger and makes a dent um it kind of like remind me a mixture between her texture eyeshadows and her like pearl shimmers i don't know how she calls them but they're not as bad as the texture ones if you know what i mean especially that one electric obsessions you get six mats here and three simmers the mats they perform well in this one they do kick back so bear that in mind and the simmers they're not as like cushiony as intense as in the smoke palette i do like this the palettes the packaging is pretty good um it's pretty small uh, for what it is has a big mirror um, you get a lot of colors 
Firstly, with the smoky obsession, um, I really like that although it's a smoky palette, it's not, you know, all grey. Um, and you get that transition color that really, really helps. If I had to pick, the Smoky Obsessions is my favorite. Now, let's go to the electric. Again, the packaging, I have no problems. Big mirror. You get more mats here. You get five mats and three uh, simmers. Uh, they, see, they perform well. I didn't have any problems with them. Um, it depends if you like the colors. The colors are all right. One thing about these palettes that I didn't like um, I didn't like the fact that her previous palettes were made in Italy and these are made in China. So, I don't know if... Uh, am I missing anything there? I'm, I'm not quite sure. Would I recommend these palettes? Mm, yes and no. They're both good palettes, but they're not something, oh my god, amazing, that hasn't been done before, if you know what I mean. To recap, Jue Essentials High Coverage Cream Foundation, Hard Pass. No. Tarte um, Blush Bazaar palette for tw holiday 2017, great, um, I would recommend it, bear in mind some of the shades they do uh, look similar on the cheeks and um, they, one of the highlights it's barely there. Huda Beauty Obsessions palette, would I recommend them? Probably, um, if you don't have um, smoky colors, go with the smoky Obsessions, if you like pop of colors you try that, but if you ask me which is my favorite, is this. That's all guys, thank you so much for watching this video and please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Until next time, bye, love you lots.